Hello friends and welcome to Pi Shine. This is part 2 of the Raspberry Pi series. In this video, you will learn how to configure Raspberry Pi in ad hoc Wi-Fi mode. On the right hand side we have the terminal of Raspberry Pi. Let's move to the network directory using this command. The default interface is configured for the Wi-Fi mode. So, we can copy it to another file as a backup to use it later using this command. Now, we need to create another file for the ad hoc interface. So we use this command and then simply edit it. So, we copy these settings, which include important features, such as the interface mode and the SSID name, of the ad hoc mode. DHCP is known as Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So, why is DHCP important? It saves the network administrator from manually assigning the IP addresses and network parameters to the clients that will join the network. The DHCP server automatically provides and assigns the IP addresses, default gateways, and various network parameters to the client devices. ISC DHCP is an open source solution to implement DHCP servers relay agents and clients. It supports both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. Any new device connected to Raspberry Pi will be assigned 192.168.15 IP address and so on. After saving the configuration file, we are ready to start the ad hoc mode. This command will overwrite the interface's file with the ad hoc settings. Now, we must reboot the Raspberry Pi. This time after booting, you will find a new Wi-Fi access point named as RPI test. In ad hoc mode, we do not require any wireless router. Devices in this mode spontaneously create a wireless local area network to share the data. We can see that our RPI test is available to join. Once connected in ad hoc mode, we can SSH to Raspberry Pi at its IP address as shown. We can check the configuration using this command. Now, if you want to exit the ad hoc settings and establish the previous Wi-Fi mode, simply go to the network directory and then execute this command. After that, reboot the Raspberry Pi. That's all for today. Have a nice day and see you again.